Well, good morning fellow YouTubers and Brewtubers. It's the old fart in the shed and it's Homebrew Wednesday. Got it right this time. Makes a change. Any <laughs> What have I been doing this week? Uh, right, Steve Furnival, I think that's his name, I hope I've got it right Steve, suggested a name for me mash tun. So let me just show you mash tun. There he is, look, down there. Um, I'm going to call him Dusty Tun. Because uh, in the UK there used to be um, <coughs> a prize for a game show called Dusty Bin. And uh, Steve suggested... Uh, Dusty uh, mash tun, and I've broken it down. I've gone down one. It's going to be dusty, uh, dusty tun. So that's me, uh, my new name for me mash tun. Um, what else have I been doing? Yeah, Roy Lakey Lakes uh, cider. I bottled it. Let me show you. Look at that, Roy. That was a cracking brew, and. Uh, it's been in the uh, fermenter for a couple of weeks, so it should be fully formed, f the, f fermented out. So that's that done. Look how clear that looks, and I've only just done it today. Right, so I'll whack that bugger back. What else have I been doing? Oh, ah, you see that barrel? Not there. Where is it? There. Look at that. That barrel there. That's me um, Cooper's Lager. I've, I've kegged that today. I've put some sugar in and kegged that up. And in the plastic bag, just there, there, God, it's hard to judge it. There, let me show you what that is. It's only my mash tun, uh, not my mash tun, but we Well, what are you into that? Yeah, it's my boiler. Look, I put a new, what's it there, look, thingy. Look, dead easy to fit that was just came out my original one so that's great and it's a right weight on it bloody great weight good solid lid that just drizzles off look really solid so I'm really pleased with that and uh, inside look looks like it's going to be dead easy to keep nice and clean so yeah happy with that so I'll put that back Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm all ready to uh, get cracking. Let's put my lid back on. Now, I've not done any uh, brewing this week because I've got an awful lot on. I'm going to be doing, um, uh, what are they calling it? A fermenter fridge. A fermenter fridge. I've got one of these, look. An STC, is it STC 1000? Sure you've all seen them. Uh, digital what's it thing it to whack in your in your fridge, right? And what I'm gonna be doing, look, let me show you, I'll do it quick, I don't want it to drag on. Over here, look, I bought me bits and bobs for, for fitting it in. I've got two of them, look. I bet you're thinking that looks daft, you're not gonna be able to fit that properly. Two of them, look at them, they're back plates, and Because you've got to have proper kit to do these uh, uh, these uh, regulator temperature regulators in the fridges, so there's only one way to do it. And you've got to get a Sky Plus box. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, fitting uh, my bits and bobs in a Sky Plus box. So that's going to be ne my next project. So uh, I'll be doing a video on that today, hopefully. So yeah, yeah, up and running. Any road up, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching uh, me, me own brew Wednesday, and hope everybody's uh, doing well and uh, getting on all right in that. Uh, oh, and I've also whacked some more uh, apple juice into me. Uh, let me do your twizzle. Ooh. I've whacked some more apple juice into there. Look on top of the uh, 
on top of me uh, 755 yeast. I think it's 755 yeast, could be wrong. But yeah, I'm going to see how that goes and uh, I'll call it a day. So thanks for watching the old fart and uh, happy brew days.